How's it going everyone? Dragon Twilight here, and I am getting back into Tales of Monkey Island. It's been a while since I've had the chance to play this game. I uh, was hoping I'd have the opportunity for a better computer before now, but yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do some days. <laughs> uh, let's see, hopefully I'm gonna see about getting a better computer here soon, which should upgrade how everything looks. Fingers crossed. Um, let's see, what else to mention? Well, uh, I've started uploading more, uh, frequently now again. Uh, it's been a while since I've had the opportunity to do so, and... Yeah, <laughs> it feels good again. So, uh, like I said, getting back into Tales of Monkey Island. Uh, we're starting Chapter 3, Lair of the Le Leviathan. I'm gonna put, uh, a link to the... Uh, playlist for the original, the other chapters of Tales of Monkey Island uh, down in the doobly-doo. Alright, let's start it up. New game. And, ready to start a new game? Yes, I am. <coughs> yeah, Monkey Island has always been one of my favorite series to play. Uh, what the heck? Yeah, it shifted a bit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, Monkey Island has been, always been one of my favorite series to play, uh, <laughs> ever since the very first one. It is said that we are never so vulnerable than when we trust. I love the <laughs> Telltale Games version. <laughs> if we cannot trust, neither can we find our heart's desire. Ooh, spooky voodoo lady Streepwood with her voodoo cards. Terror. Ugh, the disease, yes. He escapes from Flotsam <laughs> Island to pursue his wife, Elaine, and to find a cure to the past oh, that affects they're so good together. Yeah, and it gets On torn the there. On Islands, Guybrush finds Elaine together with his arch-enemy, Lechak. With deep reluctance, bad guy. Very, Gavish very bad guy. trusts his wife with the former ghost pirate and seeks the cure on his own. <sighs> Hunted by the lethal Morgan Lafley, Treefoot must right his wrong by finding La Sponja Grande. Yeah, she can be deadly. <laughs> For the Parks is transforming the seas into a treacherous beast. A mouth. And you'll see the and mouth here is. soon. And this part is always so loud, I wonder why. Especially since I've turned the music off. Or very, very low. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Yeah. Wait, believe what? What doesn't she believe? Okay, what? the giant manatee! Coming in with its big mouth. That is a really, really big mouth. Yep. And it's a little bit loud. Let's turn it down a bit. I tried to moderate it for you guys, so hopefully it's not too loud for you, but... <laughs> okay. Yes, and it's loading again. Ah, <laughs> uh, the only downside to this game. All the loading, 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 loading. Loading, okay. Brush? And now comes the sword. I'm sorry, I'm inside a manatee at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's a very good reason. Look behind you. <laughs> oh, I've heard that one before. When you tell it to them well, so that, uh, you know, to trick them, they don't they, they believe right it. it. When you tell it to them because you it's actually a reason, they believe it. Or don't believe uh, I get, I'm getting that nice. Wow, my mind's kind of just blinking but at the moment, but oh well. Get back on the track to find <laughs> La Sponja Grande. I'm going to go find a way yeah. out of here. Got to go get uh, La Sponja Grande. Not the uh, <clears throat> service entrance. I'll keep an yeah, eye I don't want to go out the service Bay. entrance. It's you see, a little skull, less unsanitary. I'll give the old scurvy buttons. I don't want to know what that yeah, is. Yeah, I don't want to know what scurvy buttons are either. She's out cold, sir. Very cold. Alrighty. Let's run around over here. Ooh. An encampment. Hello, Talk who are you? Nothing. Better go check it out. Alrighty. Who is um, Mr. Hello? Conquistador guy here? Excuse me? What is this? An adventure, adventure from, from the, the outside. Aha! Who are you? I'm, I'm Guy Street de Cava, mighty, mighty explorer. They are very similar. Cava, <laughs> I've been looking for you. <coughs> what are you doing in here? I'm on my way to a very important artifact to be acquired for a very important woman. I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you're stuck inside of an overgrown sea mammal. 
you're not on your way anywhere. Heavens no! I'm not stuck. No, no, not stuck at all. It's all part no. of the plan of the yeah, it's all part of the plan. The mouth Gotta of go humanity it. leads mm -hmm. me to the artifact. The sea horses led the mouth to me. Just <coughs> as I freed myself from the brig of Fat Island by bribing the guard for his bootlace, stringing him up with a pulley fashioned from a stale scone, and then growing at my toenails over the course of a year in order to carefully carve them into a lock-picking kit, I, Ooh. Coronado de Cava, will walk out of this beast when the time is right. And when is that? I'm on a bit of a timetable. When we arrive at the sacred manatee mating grounds. Manatee oh, mating boy. grounds. Okay. And I just gotta ask, lock picking kid out of your toenails over the course of a year. That that takes good dedication. Let's see what he says about that. You made that. a lock picking kit out of toenails? Yeah. That's right. That's you didn't right. Try the tempt the guard dog with a bone trick. Yeah, that's classic. That's for amateurs. Amateurs, it's classic. Classic. Ah. Alrighty, how long have you been in here? How long have you been in here? Very good question. Years. Years. This journey has been even longer than expected. But the exploration is fraught with unforeseen hurdles yearning to <coughs> overcome. And I kind of froze there for a second, but oh well. Uh, so I have this locket I'm supposed so to I give you? So I have this locket I'm supposed to give to you. Oh, oh, oh my. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen this locket, locket for, for some, some years. years. She's just as I remember. Uh, no Where she's not. What is she's this? not like that at all anymore. Neither are you for that matter. Three food. It is I. Possession. The Yikes. voodoo lady. Uh -huh. Well done. You have found Coronado de Cava and are one step closer to La Sponja Grande. De Cava and his crew will prove indispensable on your quest. And while the pox spreads with every passing moment, you must tread lightly, Guybrush. Years of searching for the sponge have made De Cava unstable. He I'm was still. always well. a bit of a sensitive soul, so please, I implore you, do not mention me. Do not mention less danger. Yeah, Sponja. being stuck do, in do manatee will make you a little unstable, that's for sure. Luggage. Where did you <coughs> get this? Who sent you? What are you doing here? She, she told me not to tell you. Uh, I, 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 should I tell him? Should I tell him? I, 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 uh, I, uh, 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 I, uh, I, uh, uh, and he spills his beans. The lady gave me the locket and told me to find <laughs> you so I could track down Las Monte Grande for her so we could cure... She yeah, he wouldn't Idiot. survive an interrogation. That, that would be... So that's for sure. Trumpet. Huh? La Esponja is to be mine to give to her as a gargantuan absorbent symbol of my fiery passion. I'm gone for two seconds and she's making time with a prepubescent picarol. Hey. No, no, it's not like that. Yeah, no, I mean... No way. Yeah. We're hardly even friends. Right. A friend who she gives an invaluable sentimental locket. I bet she never sends you on any quests either. Uh, no. I mean, from time to time she tells me what to do and where to go with little or no context, that but... sounds like nice. a quest. She used to be quest me quests. also sounds like marriage, but... I thought I was a special. <laughs> Has she ever made you a voodoo Ah, oh, nothing against no. it. Can't wait to I marry my own girlfriend. You. Have you held her in your arms? What? No. Oh, I'm God, married. no. Look. I don't say her uh, name, Senior Lybrush. Ah, I yeah, it with missing your hand kind of ruins the ring part. I'm not and he sounds like uh, 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 <laughs> then why are you here? Like Ahmed um, the Dead Terrorist. There. I Is kill you. So? <laughs> yes, the honeymooning, in fact. Yes, for honeymooning. Your invisible wife, my very real wife. Uh, let me just go get her. I shall okay. await their alleged arrival with tantalizing disbelief. <coughs> Okie dokie. Do, do 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 Come over here. Winslow, I need to revive Morgan and present her to Dakava as my fake wife. <laughs> my, that reminds me of the time when... Now, Winslow, Dakava's crazy. Very, well. Very crazy. I'm well trained in naval first aid. Do as I say. First things first. <laughs> Take her pulse and see if she's alive. What? She might be dead? You never know about these things. Her wrist. She's is wiggling. Empty. Very good. Her pulse is strong. What's this? Let's see. A tattoo of the name Gus. Gus. This is for Chug Bender. Gus mm. Chug Bender. Excellent. She's alive yeah, uh... and kicking. Which reminds me. Next, remove any and all weapons from the victim. We don't want her thrashing about and lopping off any more appendages. Oh, gay. It Good freezes thinking. on me. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, and I'm gonna have to remember this later on. Right. So Gus Jugbender. It's engraved with a name. Dante, Dante Dragoda. Dragoda. Ooh, he sounds tough. Gomez, not on the carpet. Now elevate her feet to help with circulation. Got it. Elevating her feet. Well, what's hmm? this? An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? Let's see. Gustavo, free personal. Prince Hippolito de Toro, $10,000. New ship, $10,000. Lunch, $5. Gideon Gimpleg, $300. So currently she's about two ninety five up. Funeral payment to Nuni. Yeah, she's in the hole. Sorry. And I'm probably your big scorer, ain't I? I uh, hate to say it, but you ain't gonna get me. She still hasn't come round. A most curious case. If only we had smelling salts, that would do the trick. Oh, well, let's see. What do I have? Uh, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. She still hasn't come round. A most curious case. If only we had smelling salts, that would do the trick. Do we have anything like smelling salts? Is there anything in here like snow and salts? Porthole. The narwhal's quarters. They're resplendent. Guess not. Okay. Hey, Dekava. Get away from me, or I'll kill you! You don't sail another man's ship simply because he left it in the harbor? Yee. Yeah, he's got hey, a little... No, I wanted to go away from Wait. me, or I'll kill you. You don't sail it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Walking away from you. Mm, I can't go that way. I grab you, grub. You, a slimy grub. Slimy grub. So you just shove it in your pocket. Works for me. She still hasn't. Alrighty. Let's see if the grub. And awaken That's Miss no way to make her up. I believe smelling salts would revive Miss Lafley. Pity our first aid kit was swept overboard during ingestion. So the question is, where are smelling salts? Where can I get smelling salts? Let's see, maybe go up to the ear canal, maybe I can find something in there. Oh, it's been too long since I've played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faster, faster. Guybrush, you're so slow! You're so very, very slow. I'm the like a... Uh, station passage. Waxy. <laughs> Manatee earwax. Rotten and pungent. Perfect. You pick up something and you smell it. First things. A wound. Ooh. I've seen my fair share of flesh wounds and this one is world class. Yeesh. Yeah. A cochlea or inner ear. Hmm. I may have gone to public school, but I think those are supposed to come in pairs. Yeah, one in that ear, one in this ear. So where's this one? I wonder, I wonder. Mainmast. Go back down. Down the gangplank. Oh, Guybrush, you're so slow, man. You're so slow. I almost forgot. My pyrite parrot. I never leave home without it. Yep. <gasps> my pirate parrot is gone! It jostled out of my pockets and oh. washed away during ingestion. It's gone forever. My poor pirate parrot. Uh, oh well. I shall possibly find another one at some point. Okay, let's use this smelly earwax on Miss Morgan Lafley. Wake her up, maybe. <coughs> Hi, bros. Yep, see days, emo and adversaire. That'll teach you to take a legendary pirate at sword point. You lost nah, your weapon uh, privileges. Ugh, where are we? Inside the manatee. Followed by a giant manatee, <laughs> and you're about to pose as my fake wife in order to placate a puzzle-obsessed whack job. Oh no, I'm not. 
As much as I'd love to play house with the Guybrush Threepwood, I'm already late yeah, getting she you likes back me. to Flotsam Island. Listen here, you poor excuse for a pissy privateer. Any more than better you? And, and he's got the box. Sending your carcass on a tour of the small intestine. Uh, I guess we call this the good pirate, bad pirate routine. Oh, my. <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I think I ought to rest for a spell. Yeah, probably a good idea. A mouthful of something vile on the way down. <coughs> See? Like the pox. That's the pox. Ew. It turns people into whatever that was, and it's in the process of ravaging the entire Caribbean. Even Elaine. Aw. His actual okay, life. Okay, fine. But you have to do something for me. What is it? Will you sign this for me? Two seconds ago, you were ready to slit my throat, and now you want to hang me in your locker? She's a fan girl. I was just doing my job. Give it here. Now, let's go deal with Cookie Coronado de Cava. You're my make-believe wife, so just act like it. 